Hey there, it's Jen, and I'm super excited today to show you the brand new Auburn Lane collection from Pink Paisley. This is has gorgeous, rich colors, and I'm absolutely, I just have had a glance at it, and it's gorgeous. Um, and it is, like you can probably guess from the title, it, it has a little bit of an autumn theme to it. Um, but let me show you what we've got. And I'm going to start with the papers first, because the other stuff is super fun. Um, okay, so first of all, we have this specialty paper, and it's vellum, and you can see there's kind of a rosy gold. It, it's not quite rose gold, I don't know, um, but it's deeper than regular gold, so it's gorgeous. Kind of see the pink is mottled, like watercolory kind of, um, and these would be gorgeous to hand cut out. I can't wait. Okay, so now we have the papers, and I have three of each paper, so I'll just, I want to show you both sides of each, so I'll just pull them out and show them to you one at a time. So, we'll start, I'll just leave this out, and then I'll just show them all to you. So this paper is number one, and you can see that it is cut apart, there's lots of different, so there's some three by fours, some smaller ones, you can cut these up. Um, they're really sweet. You can see it says autumn there. I love the florally autumn. I am a sucker for florals, so you probably know that if you follow me. Okay, this is kind of, it's like a an interesting geometric pattern, but over or under it, there is a, like a little bit of a mottled um, watercolory look, which is really pretty. So this would be a good background, I think. Oh, there's another one. Just put my extra papers to the side here. Okay, then we have paper number two, which is a gorgeous deep wood grain. So this, like I mentioned, this has rich colors to it, but it's it's still, um, it's not heavy, which I like. So that's paper number two, the front side, and the back is this gorgeous floral. So you can see that they're laid out in kind of these, um, this pattern. Uh, this dotted patterns behind it and it's just really really pretty. I could hand cut that out too but I also think this would be great for layering and it'd be fun to color in some of these flowers as well. All right ooh, this is one of my favorites maybe my favorite I don't know. This is paper number three. Let's just take a second a moment of silence if you will to admire this. Wow, it's so pretty. Um, it's just this loose watercolor floral. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, you could hand cut this out. I think that because it's all overlapping, it might be a little tricky, but oh man, it is so pretty. I love it. So gorgeous. That pink and purple combination, I really love. And it's not like a purpley purple, right? It's like a pinky purple, a dark, not plum, but I don't know, mauve maybe. It's really pretty. And then we've got this geometric pattern on the back. It almost looks like a basket weave, but not quite. And it's in this like deep, it's not forest green, but it's like a dark teal color almost. I really like it. See, and look how pretty, so the, the branding strip has the floral on it, but look how pretty it is even when you just get a little shot of it. So you could cut this up for sure. Okay, let's, oh, I don't think I'm showing everything. There we go. Let's look at the next one. Paper number four is this interesting geometric pattern that plays with my eyes a little bit. I could see cutting this up or using this as an entire background. Let me show you the other um, the other side of it and you'll see what I mean maybe. So the other side has this great simple um, text with some floral on it, really, really pretty. Um, but you could use this the back of this paper as a background for something that's a little bit more subtle and it, it would give enough interest that it's still, you know, it's still interesting but it's not overpowering. So I love papers like that for um, like matting a background or matting a photo. All right, so that was paper number four. Paper number five is so cute. Look at these houses. They're all spaced apart. You can easily cut these up, which I love. And they're all a little bit different. So I don't think there are any two that are exactly the same. They're the same shape, but they don't have the same patterns and colors on them. So that's really fun, really cute. Um, I love that idea. And I think it would be really fun to layer a bunch up on the bottom of a page or you know, in a line somehow. Oh, cute. The back of that paper is this interesting honeycomb. So uh, every so often there's a honeycomb that's filled in 
and you can see that the background has that mottled watercolory texture to it. All right, next, this is this is my other favorite because it's floral, right? But this one's a lot easier to hand cut out. I love that it's on a dark background. It's just very striking. Um, and like I mentioned, this is paper number six. Very, very pretty, look at that. So the watercolors are a bit different than the ones that are on this larger paper. They're a bit more peachy, I would say, and have just a little bit of a different vibe to them. More leaves too, so. There's that, and then the back of it is this, um, that same kind of dark green color, uh, and it's tone-on-tone -tone text paper, and it says, find your peaceful place, bundle up together, count your blessings, uh, November, so definitely autumnal things, but you can use it for anything, because people don't really, it's nice as a pattern, you don't necessarily have to read the text. So I love the versatility there. It's definitely you can make it feel autumnal and you can definitely make it feel anything else that you want. Okay, so paper number seven is this cool triangle geometric background. And inside the triangles, there are patterns. So there's, you can see hints of floral um, and some text. They're, they're bits of the papers that are in the collection, the wood grain, all that kind of stuff. So that's really fun. I think this would be fun to mimic on a larger scale on a layout and replace some of the triangles with photos. So maybe I'll try something like that. And then the back of it is this nice, simple, easy to use stripe, pink on pink. That, I love diagonal stripes for a border as well. Boy, sorry, I'm having a trouble finding where to put all my stuff. Okay. This next one's really pretty. This is a tone on tone, that deep, rich, reddish color. Um, I would almost say maroon. And these flowers, I, I can't stop thinking about fussy cutting the flowers. <laughs> it's really, really pretty. And then the back has this stripe pattern, but you can see that laid behind it, it's actually this text print here that I showed you earlier, but it's reversed so that it's black on white. So you can see there's a rose right here. Um, and you can see that there's a bunch of text in it. So it's just kind of white lines laid on top of that and it's inverted, if that makes any sense. I really, really like this kit. I mean, this collection, it's pretty. Okay, next we have paper number eight, nine. Paper number nine is this nice houndstooth. It's just black with, it's not white, it's like a, it's kind of this off-white color. So there's white mixed with this kind of grayish white in this collection, which I absolutely love actually. And then the back of that one is another floral, but it's tone on tone as well. So this floral is more like the one on this paper here, um, but it's all one color. You can kind of see that there. Really, really pretty. I think this you could use for a background if you wanted. Okay, next is another favorite that I might be fussy cutting. Um, this is a floral and it's on that light pink background. And this one has more of the like twigs and sprigs of, of uh, greenery and smaller flowers. So really, really pretty. That's paper number 10. And then the back of it has, oh, maybe a gorgeous mustard dot. You can see that tiny little dot on there. And then again, you can see where it's kind of watercolory and some parts are lighter and darker. Love it. I think people either love or hate mustard. I'm a lover of mustard. Okay, so the next one we have is a cut apart sheet. And this, these would be great, a lot of these for cards, I think. Um, so there's things like, thank you, you are the best. Um, I saw more, maybe it was on another paper, paper I was thinking of, but uh, made with love, all sorts of things that you could uh, use on layouts and then you can use a few things on cards as well. So I think that's fun. That's paper number 11. And the back of it is this pretty gray hexagon, hexagon pattern. And again, that modeled look on the background, it's a little bit more subtle, but you can see it's a little bit darker over here than it's lighter over here. That's nice. I, 
I see myself personally mixing this collection with a lot of white cardstock to make really bright layouts with these gorgeous rich colors as a pop. Um, so that's kind of how I envision it. Okay, paper number 12 is that same kind of floral paper uh, that we've seen in a different a different scale and it's just black and white which I think is pretty cool again you could take and put some color on this if you wanted to or just use this the black and white because it's a little bit more um, subdued and then the back of that one is this awesome easy to use little grid pattern this is the kind of pattern I like to use on a background it's just really simple but it has a little interest to it Okay, so those are the papers. I also have, this collection has a six by eight specialty paper pad. So you can see that larger size there. And let me just take off the little side pieces and I'll show you. This has that, um, that copper, they're calling it copper. So copper foil look to it. So, and these are different. These are a little bit different than, it's not exactly the same as what's in here, but they some of them are the same. So you can see, let's love more on this paper here, barely on the side there, sorry. And then you've got it here with the words in that foil. So live the good life, every moment matters, thankful, and let's gather together. Then we've got the houndstooth, so just a smaller version of the patterns, the floral, now this one's really cool. So this is very subtle on the actual paper up here that I showed you earlier, but with the copper foil, it just looks really cool. I like that. And then a smaller scale of that floral, the mustard dot. This one's really cool too. So again, this one's a tone on tone in the large papers, but look at it with the copper foil on it. That just brings it up a notch. I love it. Okay, here's another um, smaller version of the grid pattern here and the stripes. This one turned out absolutely gorgeous. So this is black and white in the, in the collection here, but look at it in copper and white, so pretty. We've got the wood grain. Again, all of these patterns are scaled down a bit. That pink on pink floral. This one looks really cool too. So this is the newsprint background, but with the copper foil instead of just black, or I guess it's kind of a grayish color. We've got that geometric pattern and this one as well. This is part of that big cut apart sheet with some of the things gold or er, copper foiled. The black and white, the stripes. Here's some more of the cut aparts. And then we do it all again. So we have each paper twice in the six by eight paper pad. All right, next we have, here, let me show you these. These are the thickers for this collection. They're called Amber, and they are printed chipboard letter stickers, and they have the floral on them. They're so beautiful. I can't wait to try to use these. I, I admit that I sometimes have a hard time with patterned thickers, but I'm going to definitely push myself to use these because they're absolutely beautiful. Okay, next we have the six by eight sticker sheet, or six by 12, sorry. Let me pull it out of the package so that you don't have to look through these words down here and I'm sorry for the glare of the packaging as well okay so really really cute here we've got all sorts of florals and the houses that are throughout the collection we've got some labels and banners and little words uh, printed here I love this little row of flowers that's really sweet there's a mug like all of this stuff is kind of like cozy homey stuff um there's some pears and then there's some squares down here at the bottom that say that was so fun shine like the stars you and me you make me happy make someone smile more than ever um i think some of these could definitely be used for cards too hello you go for it um uh you make me happy stuff like that so i think those are really cute i love them okay next let's see oh i can't even decide Let's look at the stickers. So this is a three sheet sticker bundle. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Um, and we've got these ones, see the copper foiling on there? So these, there's some like little banners at the bottom, some word, little word stickers and just a bunch of different, this is like 
a banner right here if you can see that. Very nice. Um, and then we have they're kind of remind they're kind of plannery actually. Um, they don't say that they're for planners, but they definitely have that kind of feel to them just based on the size and kind of these little checklists and the fact that they're in squares just reminds me of the planner. And then um, there's numbers as well from 1 to 31. So if you're a planner person, you might like to get this sticker pack. Um, there's some hexagons and some half hexagons, all sorts of cute little stickers there. Then we have the rub-ons, which are gorgeous too, and they have the, the copper foil as well. They're, it's not as coppery um, on the rub-ons as it is on the other stuff, but they, they're still definitely copper. Okay, let me show you one sheet at a time. So here's this one, and we've got the, the row of flowers at the bottom, and those are copper foil, so you can kind of, I don't know if you can see really, but you can kind of see that it's a little bit shinier, and probably when you rub it on and peel off this backing paper, it will be more shiny, but um, the cute little bunny, thankful, love this, hello you, all sorts of cute little things, and I love that there are lots of little um, hearts and different things that you could scatter places, and the leaves too. And then the other sheet is like this, and there's lots more florals and words and just really pretty. I love when uh, rub-ons have that kind of like painty background because it makes it look like you did something special on, instead of just rub that on, you, like you put some sort of treatment on it. Okay, so those are the rub-ons. Oh my goodness, the puffy stickers. Look at them, they are glorious. So we've got, and they're the soft ones too. We've got a house a black and white floral, a little bee, some words. This is bliss, beautiful, thanks would be great for a card. I'm feeling grateful as well. Some florals, some little banner shapes, buttons, hearts, so cute. And the little mug, those are really sweet. Okay, let's look at, I just can't even decide. Okay, let's look at this. This is the embellishment package for Autumn Lane and it has, Let's see if I can put something underneath it to show you. There we go. So these are enamel dots. Actually, I'm thinking they might be epoxy. So there's black, white, and then hearts in pink and that coppery foil, which is really pretty. And then we have sequins and little paper clips in that coppery color as well. This feels more rose gold to me, but really, really cute. I can't wait to do something with the paper clips. Um, and see what I can add to it that's in the collection. I think that's fun. Okay, let's see. Let's do, let's do this next. This is a wood veneer package. There are just four pieces in here, but they are these nice large frames. So we have one with that purpley color, one with the green, and you can see that they're kind of cut sideways with the paint. Um, and then, yeah, they're really cute. The mustard. This kind of reminds me of like a family tree, like you put portraits of your grandmother in these or something. That would be fun on a layout to do. Well, we have three people in our family, so I could use three of them and put a photo of us, each one of us in inside a frame. I think that would be pretty and make it look like it's hanging on the wall. And even some of these papers could look like um, wallpaper kind of. So that's kind of an idea I might run with later. Okay. Um, let's show you the washi tapes. These are fun. So there are six washi tapes in this washi tape package. And let me show them to you one at a time. So we have a plain copper foiled washi tape that's kind of a thinner size. It's a, about a quarter of an inch, maybe. Um, and then we have this one, which I believe is like a subtle... Sh oh, it's wood grain. Oh my goodness, that's cute. Let me show you on the back of this because I thought this was just like a striped pattern or something but no it's wood grain you see that it's cute that's pretty I like it okay so there's that one then we have this floral which is just a pink floral there you can kind of get an idea for it like that cute cute and then we have a stripe so this one's a little bit wider this seems like about half an inch probably maybe three quarters I'm not very good at that 
this is nice. I love simple things like this for washi tape. And if you haven't seen it, if, and if you have so much washi tape and you don't know what to do with it, check out my Use It or Lose It series. I did washi tape uh, a few weeks ago. So there's that. And then we have this really gorgeous, deep, purpley red color with copper foil on top. And it's this geometric pattern. It's really pretty. Okay. And then, last but not least, I save the best for last always, is this gorgeous floral. So it's the larger floral um, with that pink and the purple. So pretty. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to use that. It's so pretty. Ooh, okay. Next, there's just, there's two more things. So... <laughs> Next we have this, which makes me super, super excited. I'm actually not gonna open this because I can show you the back, but this is all leaves and florals, which makes me so happy. So it's a die cut pack. There are vellum pieces, there are foiled pieces, and they're just really pretty. So the vellum pieces are these ones that are outlined in heavy black here, but you can see there's all those leaves, all of these smaller flowers, and then all of these flower clusters. So really, really cute there. And last but not least, we have the embellishments. And they have some foiling going on too. And I'm just gonna show you the back, but you can see that there are frames if you wanted to add them to the wooden frames to create a whole layout with frames. And then houses and bunnies and words um, and more frames. So that's all we got. And I hope that you enjoy this collection. It's super, super cute. I can't wait to use it. And uh, leave me a comment below and let me know what your favorite thing is and what you're looking forward to using. We'll see you again next time.